we've got a constitution, the Australian constitution, which is meant to set out the way our government works. You know, it's the founding document of at least modern Australia. It, it, it obviously appallingly makes no, no mention of, of Aboriginal Australia other than allowing the Commonwealth the right to pass racist and discriminatory laws against Aboriginal Australia. Um, and that needs to be remedied. But the other obvious problem in the constitution is it doesn't mention local government anywhere. But the whole system of government is based upon three level, levels of government. Local government representing grassroots interests. And for me, one of the most important levels of government because it's the closest to people, it can actually be the most democratic. So you've got local government, state and commonwealth. But it doesn't mention the local government anywhere, local government anywhere in the constitution. You know, Greens MPs all around and Greens candidates all around the country at the moment in the federal election are saying that's something you should be getting commitments out of all of your MPs and all of your candidates to commit to constitutional recognition of local government so that local government at least has, a, has some kind of legal protection and they, they aren't just the playthings of a state government. The state government can't just sack them when they want, do what they like with them. Because if there's some constitutional recognition, and the constitutional recognition, I believe, should also say that the ultimate decision about the shape and the nature of local councils needs to lie with the people who are in their local councils. So it shouldn't just be a bland, kind of meaningless word. It should actually give some teeth. Constitutional recognition in the long term is super important to, to making sure that local government, um, you, you can no longer have this happen to you again.